Time Extender just released a significant update to its Snowflake integration. So I thought, what better way to test it out than to see how quickly I can build a data warehouse in Snowflake? Let's get started. In the Time Extender portal, I set up some connections to my data targets. I'm gonna be using Azure Data Lake for my raw data ingestion and storage. And then of course, I'll be using Snowflake here for my data transformation and cleansing. And then finally, I'll push out the data to a Power BI data set. But of course, what's a data warehouse without a data source? For this, I'm gonna to connect to an ERP system and I'm gonna ingest that data with Azure Data Factory. Now let's jump into Time Extender Desktop to start building our solution. First, I'll open my Azure Data Lake and add a data source. I'll call my data source ERP and then select that data source connection there I just showed you in the portal. I'll select all tables for this data source and go ahead and add a transfer task now. I'll simply call this transfer. And again, I wanna use all tables in this transfer task. Now, what Time Extender is doing is it's using Azure Data Factory to synchronize with this data source. It's reading all the metadata, understanding tables, fields, primary keys to make that same structure in my Azure Data Lake. Next, what I wanna do here is set up incremental load. This is gonna allow me to load only the rows of data that I've updated or changed instead of fully loading all the tables each time. I simply need to identify a field here. And in this database, that field is modified date. Once I type that in, I simply hit refresh. Time Extender identifies that field in all the tables across my data source. And this is gonna allow me to incrementally load these tables. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and execute my transfer task. This is going to, again, generate that Azure Data Factory and start loading those tables from the source using ADF. Uh, let's see what that looks like in Azure Data Factory. Here, I started with a new Azure Data Factory, but let's go ahead and refresh that to see what Time Extender is doing with it. As you can see, Time Extender has generated a couple pipelines and some data sets here. And we can see in here, we have these uh, pipelines that are used to ingest the data from that data source. We can see in here, there is a for each loop that's uh, doing a copy table action. Of course, there are some additional rules in here that enable that incremental load as well. Let's go ahead and look at our Azure monitor to see what that's actually doing right now. You can see there is a load currently in progress. And if we look in a little bit deeper, we can view the Gantt chart and see that it is now loading nearly a hundred tables all at the same time. And again, bringing those into the data lake. Let's take a look at our data lake to see what tables have been created. So we see this is my uh, data storage. If I refresh this, uh, we see this ERP data source and we'll see a number of different tables have already been created. And again, that Azure Data Factory pipeline is just doing that automatically. You'll notice I didn't have to actually build anything to get any of this to work. So let's go back to Time Extender. And while that's running, we can actually start building out our data warehouse now. So I'm gonna open my Snowflake instance. And we see here, all I need to do is start bringing in some tables. So let me open up my table selector. And I have my ERP data source here, and I'll search through the tables and I can start bringing tables in. For this, why don't we go ahead and we'll take a look at product model and product, and I'll just multi-select a few tables here. The beautiful thing about having a low-code holistic data integration solution is I'm able to simply drag and drop tables directly from my Azure Data Lake into my Snowflake instance without having to write any complex code. Now that I have my tables in place, I can just rearrange a little bit here to make this just a little bit easier for myself. I need to start by doing a little bit of denormalization to model this data in my data warehouse. I'm gonna create a relationship here, product model ID to product model ID. And then I can rename this field, product model name, and then bring that right into the product table. So what I'm doing there is I'm joining product model name directly into my product dimension. Now that I've done that, let's look at my customer dimension the customer name is actually in the store table. So I'm gonna create this relation here and then rename this to customer name and drag that right onto my customer dimension. So now let's look at my 
transaction table here. We have sales order ID. That's going to be my relationship. And then I want to drag a few fields down. Let's go ahead and bring in customer ID as well as order date and ship date. So now that I've denormalized my header fields down to the transaction tables, I can build a nice clean star schema for my Snowflake data warehouse to do any kind of date analysis. We're going to need a date dimension. We'll simply just call this date for now. We'll say the start date is at 2011. And we can set up configuration for date formatting, weekdays, calendar years. If we want to use a staggered fiscal year, we can easily enable that here. Let's say our starts in July and we simply click OK. This creates a full date dimension for us, which we can then use in any of our models as needed. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this in a new tab and start creating some relationships to my fact table. Creating these relationships makes creating my semantic models significantly easier. So I'll build those relationships up real quick. And I will add my product ID to product ID. And of course, now relate to my customer dimension as well. Customer ID to customer ID. So I have a nice basic model. This is great, but I'm going to need to do some deeper analysis. Now in my ERP system, you'll see there are some discounts and taxes applied to this line total. But really what we want to do here is we want to measure our gross sales amount. So let's go ahead and create a new field that will help us calculate that. We'll call it gross sales amount. Make that numeric. We'll click OK and we'll simply add a quick transformation. What I'm going to do here is multiply unit price by order quantity. And you can see by dragging those in, I'm creating these parameters. So time extender is going to generate that code. And even if I go in and change field names here, let's say this is unit price USD, my transformations will update for me automatically. Great. Now that I've built my data warehouse, let's go ahead and deploy and execute. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to generate all the code necessary to create these tables and transformations inside of Snowflake as well as load these tables from the Azure data lake and ingest them into Snowflake and run them through all of the specified transformations and cleansing rules that I've now created. It's also gonna save a new version of my project. So if I don't like any of these changes, I can easily roll back to a previous version just within a few seconds. Let's see what that looks like inside Snowflake. Now, as you can see, several queries being run in Snowflake, all of these auto generated by time extender. And if we look at some of them, for example, this insert into date, all of this code, you don't have to write yourself in time extender. It's all automatically generated on the fly. And if we navigate back to time extender, you can see here, all of these tables will run in parallel threads and this execution can be scheduled. It also learns from itself. So it looks at previous executions and understands how long these tables took to execute and automatically reorders this execution path to ensure the most efficient process possible. Now let's build our semantic model. I'm going to go ahead and open my Power BI instance and I can start dragging tables right in. So I'll start with my date table. We'll make an order date dimension and keep it really simple here. We'll just select date value and then year month name. Then I'll bring in my product dimension. Let's go ahead and just bring in our product name as well as our product model name. I also want to bring in my customer dimension and we can bring in the customer name. Finally, my sales order transaction table. Let's just select our measures, order quantity and gross sales amount. And now because I created those relationships there in the data warehouse, I can simply select those relations, click OK, and those will be built right into my Power BI data set. Now I have a couple of fields here, order quantity and gross sales amount. I want to remove those as fields and create them as measures. So I'm going to start with order quantity, add a measure, and really quickly here, order quantity, make this a sum, and we'll do a decimal and a whole number. Next, I'm going to create a measure from my gross sales amount as well. And again, we want to create that as a sum. We are going to use decimal and this is going to be, of course, a currency. And we'll customize that to use the US dollar. 
click OK. And once that's done, I can deploy and execute my Power BI data set. Now, again, what Time Extender is doing here is it's communicating directly with the Power BI Premium XMLA endpoint to create that data set. And then, of course, load that data directly from Snowflake and bring that right into Power BI. And of course, you can make this all part of these executions, which you can schedule on a recurring basis as frequently as you want, up to every five minutes. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and take a look in Power BI. And we'll go ahead and refresh Power BI here. And we see we have this new model created. I'm going to go ahead and try to auto create a report. Let's pre select some data. Beautiful. Now I have some gorgeous visualizations there, all pouring in directly from Snowflake. Well, there it is. Just to recap, I was able to build a data factory pipeline, ingesting nearly a hundred table data source into a data lake as parquet files. Load and denormalize that data into a star schema complete with a date dimension in Snowflake. Then make a dashboard in Power BI, all in just 10 minutes. Just imagine what you would accomplish with the remaining 470 minutes of a workday.